Alpha Mega Sin here, and I have a very special unboxing for you! As you can tell by the title, it's The Last Story, because why else would I be unboxing anything else other than to mislead you? And I would only do that on April Fool's Day, and if I did that, it'd be total dickheadedness. But anyway, this is not April 1st, it's April Fool's Day, and I do, in fact, have the game right here! And it is very, very awesome, considering the fact it's like a special edition that they didn't charge a special edition price for, and hell, even came with the soundtrack. So, let's go and check this out. Now, any fans of JRPGs and whatnot, you've probably been watching this pretty closely. This game, all around, is a very big deal. It finally is has made its way stateside, and I'm extremely happy, thanks to things like Operation Rainfall, which got us Xenoblade this, and we're still waiting for one more title. Just one more. Hopefully it does make its way here, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. So anyway, now I took the cellophane off of this, and this has a little slip cover to it. I'll go and show you the slip cover, which, and you can see the remnants of the cover art right there. But let's look at the back right there, which goes and details the story. Uh, finger is covering up the contents that this has inside, and by good folks at Xseed. I fucking heart them. Heart them big times. Oh, Xseed, you make me think of the good old days of working designs. So, <clears throat> that right there is the slipcover. Let's look at the very beautiful cover. Very, very nice. This is presented to look like a book, which is very neat, and I like it quite a bit. And on the back, And obviously it's going to say, The Last Story, but it does, it looks like a book. So, when you open it up, ah, oh, look at that. What do we have inside? An art book. A very, very nice art book. So, why don't we take that out? Set this to the side, so we can have a gander at it. So, comes up as The Last Story Art Gallery. Which, essentially, this is just the cover of the game. Got a nice view of the world map. <clears throat> Bustling town. Gotta love that. Let's see, let me find something that's, uh... Here we go. Action! I like action! And there's plenty of it to be had in this game. That's one thing that I do like about this game, is that it incorporates a battle system that is... Very non-traditional, but isn't one of those things like, oh my god, this is going to take me like years and years to be able to go and figure out just because it's so convoluted and fucking confusing. No, it's a pretty badass battle system. Ah, a sense of security found in reality beyond traditional RPG boundaries and creating the various elements of the last story. I believe we are seeking a challenge as we worked on the game's design and feel and settled on the vision of the world. We thought we could overcome... Any apprehensions people might have about jumping into something new by creating a realistic world that made them feel secure. And this is coming from uh, the dude who does the concept art. And he goes on to say a whole bunch of other stuff, but I don't want to feel like I'm reading you a bedtime story. And we got the main character here from a bunch of various angles. It's Callista. She's the chick who's also on the cover. So you've got some, oh, some more art of Callista right there. And a character, uh, let's see, Dagran? 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 I haven't played the game just yet, so I don't know how to exactly pronounce everybody's names just yet. Oh. Rania? She looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, Lulu, just a little bit for some reason. Hmm. I I'm assuming it's a... Uh, gothic stylings of her wardrobe and everything, but the, it's mainly a uh, bunch of characters. Got a uh, assassin over here. Love assassins. Assassins always look really badass. Though he looks kind of like he's wearing a gimp suit in a way. <laughs> if anybody can see that, bring out the gimp. Oh, Pulp Fiction. I'll never be able to forget you and your clever ways. But there's a ton of character art in here. Uh, Horace, Meredith, and a uh, couple oh, other people. So, pretty neat that they have a ton of character art in here. Um, design with a soul. I believe that design work is crucial in games, and this is, uh, they got 
bunch of stuff here from the director of the game. It is nice that they include stuff like this, just because uh, getting some insight, uh, this is actually probably the most beautiful piece of art in it. I think that looks extremely nice. Uh, but like I was saying, it, it's really nice to be able to hear from uh, the, the main people of the creative team whenever it comes to a game like this, just because you get to hear their side of the story, why they created something, why does it look this way, why does it play this way, why does it sound this way, and everything. And I, I like stuff like that, especially when you're very, very invested into it. You know, it's just like the extras on any DVD, and you get to hear, like, director commentary and pr producer commentary. So stuff like that, I'm glad that they include, so it's not just, you know, art. We actually get a little bit of insight, so that's pretty neat. Now, let's delve a little bit deeper. And we got the game itself, so let's pop that out. Inside there is nothing else, it's just a plain cardboard background. I can say I don't like that. I actually think that looks like utter shit. It's very cheap looking. Uh, considering how high quality everything else looks, I wish that they would have put just like maybe a little laminated piece of art there, anything. Um, they could have just had it a plain color, but when it's just plain cardboard like that, uh, it kind of ruins the look of everything else. So it's kind of strange that they left it that way, especially for how nice looking the box is. But, uh... I don't actually have the game open, but for anybody who's just went out and seen the game, that's that's the cover right there. And on the back, which is pretty much the same exact thing that you saw on the back slipcover case. Uh, slipcover of the case that I had shown you previously. So the last story, finally got my hands on it. And uh, for people who pre-order it, got a soundtrack. So, a uh, premium soundtrack right here, Last Story Premium Soundtrack, has uh, seven songs on it. Which, those are title tracks right there. It is, it's, it's pretty exciting to be able to have the soundtrack, I mean, for free, it didn't cost anything extra. And, and it is, it's nice that they made this the way that they did, because this is like getting a limited collector's edition for no extra cost. It's just $49.99, basic cost of all brand new Nintendo Wii games, but you get an art book and a soundtrack for free. Yay! And a very, very nice case for it, too, no less. But uh, it is, it's, it's very nice looking. I'm just glad that it finally made its ways uh, its way overseas. Uh, still waiting for Pandora's Tower. So, again, fingers crossed, hoping for that. And Fatal Frame 4, but maybe it'll show up on Wii U. Either way, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing of a very awesome game. I'm going to be delving into it here uh, later this evening, actually. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I've been reading previews and watching trailers and tons of stuff, and I've been supporting the cause. So, yep, naturally had to go out and spend my hard-earned dollar on it because I want to see more games like this, damn it. Nintendo, here are, please. We want more games like this, damn it. So, for all JRPG fans, hope you enjoyed this. For all of my regulars, I hope that you enjoyed Enjoyed this unboxing video with Alpha Mega Sin. <laughs> anyway, so and just like I normally do, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on and play RPGs because they rock. <laughs>